I'm Anil Kumar and in this video I'll discuss behavior of the function near horizontal asymptotes. We have three different examples to discuss. The first one is f of x equals to 2x plus 1 divided by x minus 1. The second one is f of x equals to 1 over x square plus 1 and the third one is h of x equals to x over x square minus 1. Now, uh, let's see the first one. We'll make a small sketch also. First question is, how do you find horizontal asymptote? We look at the degrees of numerator and denominator. If the degrees are same, then horizontal asymptote is ratio of leading coefficients. In this case, horizontal asymptote is y equals to 2. Correct? y equals to 2. Uh, there are many techniques of finding it. You can substitute a large value of x and you'll see that the function approaches 2. The other way is I could factor out x, right? So I could write f of x equals 2. If I have factor x, I get 2 plus 1 over x divided by, I'm going to factor x, I get 1 minus 1 over x. Now if x is very large, so let me just cancel these x's. Now if x is very large, then approximately what happens to the function? We are saying if x is approaching infinity, very, very large, then 1 over x is approaching 0. Is that okay? Then 1 over x is approaching 0. So we could neglect these terms. Do you get it? So what we get here is 2 over 1. And therefore, we have a horizontal asymptote y equals to 2. So concept is clear. So y equals to 2 is the horizontal asymptote. Let's sketch it here. This is, this is our y equals to 2 horizontal asymptote. Now when we say behavior of the function near the horizontal asymptote, it means what happens when x is approaching negative infinity and what happens when x is approaching positive infinity what happens to the y value that is what we are interested in is it more than 2 or less than 2 we know it's approaching 2 but is it more than 2 or less than 2 that's the whole idea right now here if i write a value which is negative infinity what you can do is you can just substitute a number like 100 minus 100 or or even minus 10 and calculate. Do you understand? So when you calculate, what happens is, if I write minus 10, for example, let's do it. So I'll just show you with simple calculations. Let us say we write minus 10, okay? So it becomes minus 20 plus 1. Let's do this calculation on the side. I'm writing x equals to minus 10, saying we are be trying to find behavior near negative infinity. I mean, when x is very large. Okay. So the numerator is minus 20 plus 1. And the denominator is minus 20 minus 1. So obviously, you are multiplying by a bigger number. So we know it will be going less than. Is it okay? So you can just calculate. So it will be less than 2. Maybe 1.9. Could it? Okay, so we can write y is approaching 2 from lower side, so 2 minus, or we say from lower side, so we say from uh, lower side. So it's kind of like this, do you see that? It's kind of like this. Now what happens when x approaches positive infinity? You can substitute plus 10. Right? So if I write plus 10, we get 21 over 9. So it is more than 2. So it is more than 2. That means it's from approaching from above. So we say y is approaching 2 from positive. Or we normally use the term above or from below. Right. So first case was lower or below. The second case is approaching from above. So I hope that is, that is clear. So that is how you figure it out. Anyway, 
You can always sketch this function by finding intercepts and the vertical asymptote at 1. Correct? We're not going there. We'll just discuss the horizontal asymptote. So let's look into the next one, which is 1 over x squared plus 1. And now let's discuss horizontal asymptote. In this particular case, as you can see, degree of denominator is higher. Therefore, the horizontal asymptote is at x equals to 0. So the horizontal asymptote is the x-axis itself. The function is 1 over x squared plus 1. It is always positive, easy to sketch. So let me sketch this function here. It's a very typical function. It will be kind of like this. Do you see that? If I put x as a large negative value, y value will be 0 but positive because never negative. If I put x equals to positive large value, then y approaches 0 but still from the top. So the behavior is very clearly shown. Is it okay? Now let's talk about the last one here. In this particular case also you will notice that the, the horizontal asymptote is the x-axis. The reason you know is degree of denominator is higher. So if x is a large value in that case, we are dividing by a large value, which results to 0. So horizontal asymptote in this case is x equals to 0. Now what happens when x approaches negative infinity? So if I write a negative number here, a large negative number, denominator is going to be positive. However, numerator is going to be negative, right? Since the numerator is negative, we are going to approach from below, right? So that is the behavior we can say when x approaches negative infinity, h of x or y approaches 0 from below, which is right minus. So you can write below also. Is it okay? Now what happens when x approaches positive infinity? All the terms are positive, right? So all the terms are positive it approaches from above. So, so we can write when x approaches positive infinity, h of x approaches 0 from above, 0 plus, or you can write above. Is that okay? So what we have learned here is you could use calculator, calculate the values. When we say x is approaching negative infinity, put x equals to minus 100. When we say x approaches positive infinity, put x equals to positive 100. Calculate your values. If you get a value which is higher than the asymptote, then you are approaching from above. If you get a value which is lower than the asymptote, horizontal asymptote, you are approaching from below. So that is the base for answering these questions. And this is how we write it. I hope that's clear. Thanks for watching and all the best.